Alright guys, I'm making this video because um, I have the 2013 Mac Pro. Let me see which one this is. About this Mac. Yeah, so late 2013, 15-inch MacBook Pro, and I was having the issue where it would power off randomly, and this only started happening after the Catalina update. I think I had this issue a while back, but then my computer automatically updated by accident. I accidentally clicked the button, and I c couldn't close out because it was too far in the install process. So went through this whole issue of. Uh, the computer would shut down randomly while I was using it and the main problem is that was really frustrating was whenever I was trying to type in these codes on terminal the whole computer would shut down so that was the biggest issue so I want to help everyone else out so that they don't have you guys don't have to go through these issues and you know I'm not a coder so you know putting in all these codes I'm not even I wasn't even sure what to do so let me pull some stuff up here uh, this is one of the main things I used and I was on the Catalina version so I had to use the sudo mount command before putting anything in. So before anything you want to restart your computer you want to hold um, um, the command in R and then you go to your terminal. You can f look up a video to how to do this. This is probably the only part that I'm not going to show you how to physically do, but it's easy. So you you go up to your recovery window. You to get there when you restart, Command and R, and um, you just type in CR or CS R U T I L disable. Once you type that in, you're good to go. Okay. There's another thing I used on this page, but whatever, I don't need it anymore. Well, now that I know how to do it, like, all I need is this. Okay, so let's load up Terminal. So you're going to probably have to, if your computer's restarting constantly, you're probably going to have to do this multiple times. But after a while, your terminal will stay open, and you're going to want to have Finder open also. I'm already preset in here. So basically, um, you go to Mac, and also, if you're having this issue and you're st and you're unable to do any of this, or you're ha you're still having trouble after this, just do boot camp. I was literally using boot camp for two three weeks um, because like I got stressed out and was like I don't have time for all this to set up all the code and change all this stuff. But I finally found some time to work through it so yeah anyway so underneath user or sorry uh, system go to library um, and then from library type in extensions it's gonna be the one at the bottom and then what I like to do is just extend this like that so you cannot come in here and edit these at all you have to go through terminal that's the big thing and once it's edited, you'll actually get a, f a folder that looks like this. The only file that you need to mess with is Apple Thunderbolt NHI. I did read on a forum where a guy did do this and he said it still wasn't working, so he had to disable every single one of these. Everything that says Apple, Apple Thunderbolt, he had to disable. Um, luckily, I did not have to do that. I only had to disable NHI. So let me show you how to do this. Also, another issue I ran into, which is not listed here, it's not listed anywhere else, I had to search for this, is for some reason it still would not let me change the Apple. Like, I would go in here, let's, so let's go here. We went in here. Let me show you the coding here. So, sudo. It's cap sensitive, so don't capitalize it. Mount uw slash and you're gonna have to type this really fast because again you only got maybe a minute to two minutes to type all this in before your computer shuts down okay uh, I think my OPS like crashed out or whatever all right so you type it in sudo dash mount or space mount uh, dash uw 
uh, slash. So now this means that you're inside of the, the your pseudo's mounted on Catalina. So then you can just type in pseudo and be already typed it in. But what this thing does not tell you is you don't have to type all of this in. Like that this would have saved me so much time if someone told me you all you have to do is drag and drop because you don't have time like if you're not a fast typer and I'm a fast typer but if you're not a fast typer you can't type all that in and then your computer resets you have to do it again so anyways so you're gonna want to find the right uh, Thunderbolt and all you gotta do let's do let's drag this one right here you drag drop it once you do that, drag, drop it again. Now you got two there. Dot, B, A, K, enter. I'm not gonna disable this one because I don't want to. But once you type that in, it's gonna look exactly like this. But you wanna make sure you have that pseudo MB in front of it. And then you click enter. Now, you might run into an issue where, I don't know, let me delete all this real quick. You might run into another issue, which, what I did, what, which happened to me, and it wasn't, um, it said, you're underneath read only, and then I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm really under read only when I already disabled the, um, uh, system integrity it's still read only so what you got to do next bef so this is before everything so which i probably should have showed you that first huh you're gonna type in pseudo i might have to look this up again because it's like kill all or something like that where is that okay all right so i have it loaded up so you literally have to type in sudo mount when you're mounted dash u u slash every time you reboot you need to type in sudo mount uh, uw once you type that out in type in kill all space finder enter once you do that your finder will reboot this will allow you to then do the command that I, I, I told you about before. And like if we look up here, we see it right here. sudo m dash i slash this. Drag and drop it. Drag and drop it again. Type BAK. Click enter. Done. Okay. So you have to be fast on this because if you're not, your computer will reset, and it's an, it's super annoying. I'll go ahead and link the um, the links to this Reddit that I used for the the kill all finder. The only reason you need to use this is when you if you click enter and it says read only still, even though your system integrity is disabled, you got to go in here and do the kill all finder. Okay. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, like, I don't understand why there literally wasn't... There's no videos on this on YouTube at all for some reason. Maybe... Uh, maybe you're not allowed to show coding or something. But, whatever. I really don't care. Or maybe... Yeah. I don't know if this video gets taken down, whatever.